Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of forensic dentistry. Here you will learn everything you need to know about being a forensic dentist. Wow, I can't wait! Whoa there, scamp. Where do you think you're going? Uh, to be a forensic dentist? I can brush my teeth just fine. I'm sure I could do it to other people. Now, Billy, forensic dentistry is a specialty in dentistry. You'll need more than a noggin full of basic hygienics to make it into this profession. Like what, mister? For starters, you'll need specialized training in forensic odontology in college to get your master's in one to four years or your doctorate in three to four years. Schools such as the American Academy of Forensic Sciences provide such courses of study. What do I need to know while I'm there? You'll need to learn what forensic dentistry is as a profession, and based on your knowledge of what you think you need to know, you have no idea what a forensic dentist does, do you? No, not really. But how much more different is this from regular dentistry anyhow? I'm glad you asked, Billy. Forensic dentistry deals with a special type of client. And what client is that? A dead one. Um, or a victim of assault. Oh, thank God. But I know you don't want that. All those bike marks on people's bodies having to deal with them and their living person problems. <laughs> no, no, no. You deserve a quieter crowd of folks. Uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really... Too bad. To be a forensic dentist, you have to familiarize yourself with corpses. There's one now. Go say hi. Go on. Don't be shy. Hi. I... I'm just messing with you, Billy. Can you imagine if forensic dentists actually had to talk to the bodies? It is a forensic dentist's job to match the teeth on corpses with the teeth on dental records. This can help identify attackers based on bite marks or other such teeth imprints on the skin. It can also be useful with identifying people when nothing else about them is recognizable, such as with heavily decomposed or burnt bodies. Forensic dentists can also be used to give expert testimonies using constructed dental models matching those of criminals or victims as evidence proving or disproving accusations. And if necessary, forensic dentists can do everything regular dentists can do. Uh, okay. Cool. I guess I'll just be going now. Slow down there, sport. We haven't discussed the main tools every forensic dentist will need to be acquainted with. Every forensic dentist must know how to use an x-ray machine. Handheld ones, such as the Nomad handheld x-ray machine, are easier to store and use. Forensic dentists must also know how to match dental records to teeth, in teeth marks, or on dead bodies. Here's an example. No matter how someone dies, teeth often survive when nothing else does. Take, for example, the mummified remains of an undocumented person. I want to draw your attention to the dentition. The the teeth survive. In simple terms, the old and new x-rays are superimposed, showing all the dental work. If they line up, it's a match. As you can see, teeth stay very intact, even when the rest of the body is destroyed. As you can also see, recognizable fillings in teeth don't decay either. Give it a try, everyone. Are these two sets of teeth from the same person? Wow, you're a natural. Or maybe you aren't. I can't tell. I'm a pre-recorded voice. Wowee, sir. What kind of money do these folks make in a year? I'm glad you asked, Billy. Forensic dentists make $140,000 to $180,000 annually. That's almost enough money to pay for four full years of dentistry college for your closest friend, if you even have friends, Billy. Hey! So always remember, kids, if you like working with patients experiencing any one of these various symptoms, get a job in forensic dentisting. You'll have the time of your life.